Scary Squirrel is based on a character by Melanie Watt. and I'd exceed the Balsa City Fire Code Reg U Huh. Must have fallen out of somebody's pockets. What is wrong with people's pockets today? I cannot wait for tomorrow. All right. See you guys there. Why is Scaddy excited about the Balsa City Mudslide Festival? <laughs> The invite clearly said 6 a.m. sharp. Aha! Uh -huh. My first guests are arriving. What? <sighs> Am I really the only one who thinks cleaning is fun? Hey, hey, hey! It's Suds time! Colonel Clean reporting for duty! At least you don't care about that silly mudslide festival. The mudslide festival is today? Oh! Uh, What's wrong? I think I sprained my inner, outer uh, stomach -ophagus. Oh, gotta lie down. You can't fool me! I know where you're going! It hurts me that you would even think that. Fine. Well, Richard, looks like it's just me and... No one in Balsa understands me. Heck, probably no one in the whole universe understands me. It. Not even a giant alien spaceship. <laughs> what do I do? <gasps> wow, this kit is crazy accurate. Attention, citizens! Report to the town hall immediately where we will hide and they will never find us. I hope they didn't hear that. Balsa City, it's time for drastic measures. I'm taking my two-week vacation right now. See ya! They're gonna obliterate us! According to my alien attack survival guide, if we all stay quiet, they won't find us. Good, good. <laughs> Squirrels? Sorry about that. It's hard to hear through this helmet. What I said was, we're here to clean house. Hey! Everyone, have done us. No, no. We're here to clean house. We got the invite. You're here for my party? Really? Greetings. My name is Morgbar, and this is Zarknap and Steve. I'm Scaredy, and this is Dave. May we clean house now? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're aliens, Scary. <laughs> aliens. Dave, they're squirrels, and they love to clean. <laughs> they're just like me. Let's get our cleaning on. I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> I dreamt I was a car wash. Oh, Scaredy, someone with your cleaning skills could save our planet. Save your planet? This is our home planet, Acornia. It's beautiful. Is that a... River of acorns? Yes. That's nuts! It is. And yet, our people have lost the love of cleaning ever since we finished our last can of elbow grease. You want me to teach the joy of cleaning? On your planet? You're the best I've ever seen. And without you, Acornia will be doomed. I'll do it! Thank you, Scaredy Squirrel. Spotty, beam me aboard. <sighs> Try two feet to the left. A planet of squirrels who need me. Wow. I told you it would be worth that trip. Isn't Scaredy the nicest? Tenderest, tastiest, deliciousest squirrel you've ever met. <laughs> Scary, I don't like those aliens. There's something. Where are you going? Planet Acornia. Morgbar said they need me, or they're doomed. Oh, Scary, you can't. Don't worry, Dave. I won't be gone long. I don't trust them. I'm not letting you out of my sight. Sorry, Dave, this trip is squirrels only. Fine. If that's what it is, then that's what it is. If that's what it is, then if it is. <laughs> See? I'm just like you. Scaredy, you're all packed and ready to... Oh, and this is... I'm his cousin, Dave E. Yep, I'm a squirrel. Of course I'm a squirrel. Probably don't even need to say it. Very well. But that bag is too big to fit in our storage. No problemo. I can live without Coast. Catch up. These medical encyclopedias. My parents were so disappointed. <laughs> Guess I don't need the stick either. Uh, come aboard. Come aboard. We will leave soon. Ish. During our trip to Acornia, you'll need to ride in one of our hibernation chambers. And to survive in our atmosphere, you'll need to put on this flavorization cream. I'll check on you soon. Thanks, Morgbar. This smells like barbecue sauce. Don't be silly. It's more like teriyaki. Well, I still don't trust him. I'm going to sleep with both eyes. Hello? Morgbar? Is that you? Squirrel costume. Why would they need a. Dave! Those aliens are. dogs! So quick to judge, Scare. Davey! Davey! We will be leaving in 1.2 jiffies, so. Well, they could not have gone far. Go, Red Rover! Go, Red Rover! Our dinner has escaped! Come on, Dave! We gotta find a way out of here! Think, think, think. Uh, what about this button right here? Oh, that'll do. Whoa! We did it, Scary! Scary? You've been deflated! <laughs> oh, hi. Come on, we gotta hide! I think I know how to get rid of those dogs, but we'll need everyone in Balsa to help! Everyone's hiding. How are we gonna find them? 
Uh, does this plan involve cleaning? No. We're in. Hello! Morgbar, you win! You want me? Well, here I am. But I hope you're in the mood for fast food. The faster the better! <laughs> Over here! Go get it, boys! Here I am. I'm, I'm scaredy. Whatever. Gotta go. The important thing is that you saved Balsa again. Thanks, Scaredy. <laughs> Way to fit in, buddy. <laughs> another squirrel light bulb start to another squirrel efficient day. Ooh, cake and balloons. Awesome. And don't even get me started on streamers. Good luck with the birthday party. How did you know I'm having a birthday party? Are you some kind of psychic? <laughs> what? No, it's just your groceries. Stay out of my head, squirrel. Okay, that was a little strange. Huh. Ooh, big movie night coming up. What you watching? How would you? <laughs> you have a gift. The 3D glasses, the popcorn. The gift. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, you take care. Yikes. <laughs> Having a barbecue? Wow! Hmm, you like breakfast. You are a golden god. And you are a horse. <laughs> He's a mind reader. Dave, what is going on around here today? Everyone thinks I have some kind of psychic power. What's that, Scary? I can't hear because my mouth is full of sausage. I know. You must be hungry. Rats! Dave, I am not psychic. Seriously, even you could do this. Okay, this customer is buying strawberry, sugar, pie crust, and a pie recipe book. What do you think she might be doing today? <laughs> She's building a robot unicorn to fly her to outer space! I'm not psychic! <gasps> I never doubted you, Dave. Thanks, robot unicorn! <laughs> Grappling hook, pantyhose, bolt cutters, latex gloves, and a copy of How to Steal the Leaning Tower of Pizza from the opening night gala of the Stacking Art Exhibit tonight! Is there some sort of problem? <laughs> what an interesting fellow. Tremendous vocal range. Guys, there's a shifty cat over there who's planning a heist at the Stacking Art Gala. Tonight! What's the Stacking Art Gala? It's the gala that features the greatest grocery displays of all time, including the Leaning Tower of Pizza. Did you figure that out with your super psychic grocery powers? The items in his cart made it obvious that he was... Yes, it was my powers. Then we must take the line to our own paws. Dave? We will stop this cat menace, and the entire world will thank us for our awesomeness. Uh, Dave? Scary, please, I'm on a roll. The world will bake us a giant cake that says, nice work, Shelly. None of us are named Shelly, so they will need to make a second giant cake. We will get two giant cakes. Dave, the cat is getting away. <laughs> To the Dave Mobile. Dave Mobile? Taxi. 
What? Every angry mob needs a torch. Good afternoon, gentlemen. How may I help you? We've got a few questions for you. Reginald Yarn Chaser at your service. You're in big trouble, Yarn Chaser. Me? Steal the Leaning Tower of Pizza from the museum? I would never do anything of the sort. Good enough for me. Well, scary. How could you even think that about someone with a hot tub? Boys, not everyone with a hot tub is a good person. Well, most are. What about all the weird robbery stuff you were buying, huh? I do have crazy far-fetched explanations for all that I hope you won't question. First, I bought extra tight pantyhose to help with the circulatory problems I have in my feet. The grappling hook is, of course, to hang Christmas decorations. The bolt cutter is simply to help dice carrots for dinner. The latex gloves are to make giant hand balloons. <gasps> Who doesn't love to high-five a balloon? And the copy of How to Steal the Leaning Tower of Pizza from the opening night gala of the stacking art exhibit tonight is for evening out the table. It wobbles, yes. You see, Scaredy? No reason for concern. I'm simply a humble hot tubbing cat. Okay. Then why is this whole room filled with stolen stacking art? Garage sales. Scaredy, your negativity is totally ruining my soap. Buck! He's stealing your necklace right now! Stealing? Oh my, no! Polishing! Scaredy, I think you should leave. Oh, now there's no need for that. It's okay. I was just leaving. Dave? Are we going to another hot tub? No. Oh man. Well, I greatly enjoyed your visit. I mean, um, safe travels, ta-ta. <laughs> hmm. I can't believe you thought Reggie was a burglar. I mean, he's a cat. A cat burglar? <laughs> Ridiculous. But Dave... Hmm, good point. If we're going to stop him, we should have a cool name like... The Rodent Patrol! No. I'll be Special Agent Skunktowski, and you can be Detective Skanowitz. Or we could go with Plan A. Aw, we always start with Plan A, and it never works. Maybe this time we should go straight to Plan C. Hmm, Plan C, Plan C. Ah, yes. We steal the Leaning Tower of Pizza before Reginald so we can keep it safe. Awesome! Now, what do I always say about Plan C? Oh, yeah. That is just crazy enough to work. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> wow. Is art supposed to make you hungry? Absolutely. Look, there's the Venus de Philo. So beautiful and flaky. <laughs> Dave, what are you? Huh, I actually like it better that way. <laughs> This is it, Dave. The Leaning Tower of Pizza. It's glorious. Dave! Invisible lasers. Release the vapor. Avec plaisir. Just like we practiced. <laughs> yeah. We did it! Come on! Now we just have to get the pizza somewhere safe. Did you hear that? Maybe it was the wind. Is wind made of glass? Oops, excuse me there, fella. Someone's here, don't move. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? I mean, uh-oh, I'm going to release some more laser revealing vapor. But we already made it through the lasers. Well, apparently somebody forgot to tell my butt. <laughs> Who's in here? Ahem. <clears throat> Sorry. It's Scaredy Squirrel and my best friend, Dave. Ricky. Um, listen, Ricky. We're here trying to save the Leaning Tower of Pizza from being stolen by an evil cat. Stolen? Not on my watch. I may be blind and deaf in one ear, but I still heard you two bumping around. I live right next door. Trust me, fellers, that pizza ain't gonna get nicked by no cat. Of that, you can be assured. Now you two get on your way. I'll walk you out. Wait up, I'm coming. Well, guess the art is safe. 
Hmm, I don't know. With that nice blind security guard in charge, what could possibly go wrong? What? What happened? Can someone tell me what happened? Anyone? Agent Skunktowski, what's a 511? Did you just show me a coupon for pudding? Yep, I love pudding. Me too, Skunktowski. Me too. Someone just stole the Leaning Tower of Pizza. I know who it was. I do. It was a cat named Reginald Yarn Chaser. Well, I hope not. We just released him on his own recognizance after we found him running from the scene with a Leaning Tower of Pizza-shaped object under his arm. Ugh. I am not good at my job. Don't take it so hard, Sarge. Skaterwitz is psychiatric. Psychic, and I'm not. Wait, I know where to find him. The security guard's house? Yep. Great work, boys. We never would have cracked this case without your psychic powers. For the last time, I'm not psychic! It's common sense. How did you not learn this in police school? There's a police school? Ladies and gentlemen, I give you your art beat. Ricky! The first thing that struck me about Reggie was his love of hot tubs. But as we all know, cats and water don't mix. So you figured it out because you're psychic. Sweet. Right. But then Reggie slipped into a southern drawl, much like... You can't fool a psychic, no siree Bob. <clears throat> Finally, I found it odd that a blind security guard was using a flashlight, and he was also... Psychic! Psychic! Psychic. psychic! And I would have gone away with it if it wasn't for that meddling psychic squirrel and to a lesser extent that flatulent skunk feller. Take him away, boys! <laughs> we did it, Dave. The Leaning Tower of Pizza is safe and sound once again. Totally. Dave, that's a priceless work of art! Dave! I told you, it's Skunk Towski. Balsa City. Dangerous city. Dangerous all the time. Full of dangerous crime. Dangerous in the day. And dangerous at night. Is it dangerous there? Oh, it's dangerous, all right. I need a word synonymous with the word dangerous. But super luckily, Skaterwitz and Skunkowski keep Balsa under control. Skaterwitz and Skunkowski. Hey, I just said that. They're the rodent patrol. Rodent patrol.